Hey and welcome back to another level in the Doom Custom Wad Showcase. This is Boxing.Wad and it throws you straight into the action and holy crap we're looking at a first death within a minute. Um, this was a level that I... holy shit we should just take the death I think. Oh we didn't get a choice. I would mentioned this level in the Chapel of Romero. Um, and I mentioned it in the context that this is... While the level layout structurally is not bad, bloody hell, um, it's not an easy level. Um, however, the real issue I took was the textures are very, are not what I would probably do with, with textures. Um, in fact, right here we've got a really good example of that. This is not going to be a really long in-depth playthrough by the way. Um, but as you can see, the textures are just not very well aligned at all. Wow, we're gonna... yeah. Holy shit, this is... This is only on Hurt Me Plenty, by the way. This is not on a particularly difficult skill setting. Let's just trigger all of them. And of course, the SS has to be different. So yeah, the, the outdoor texture in the fence, that's probably the only time that the textures line up in this level. Oh, what a stupid time to get caught between weapons. I don't want to waste my ammo on that if I can help it. Oh my god, ammo! Right, health would also be good. Um, as I said, this isn't going to be a particularly detailed playthrough. Um, it's just here to show what... So probably not one of the better... Well, this is a really stark example. Again, just... It's, it's a little thing, it really is. And when you look at the layout of the level, he's clearly put some... Well, whoever designed it, and I'll give them credit in the comments, whoever designed it really did put some effort into the layout of the level. You know, you've got the little couch and the, what I assume is a rug. One of the rooms has a, um, a fireplace too, which is quite cleverly implemented, I think. I'll probably steal it for one of my own levels in the future. And then we have this, just a miscellaneous L-shaped room. And the doorway texture. I also can't remember the last house I saw with a flaming barrel in the middle of the living room. Maybe I'm just out of touch. Oh, that's a, a well done heating thing. And the way that the, the torches, the, the torches are, oh, you can see them shining through there. Um, the way that's done otherwise though is pretty cool. In fact, in all the times I've looked at the fireplaces in this level, that's the first time it's done that. I wonder what's causing that. Hmm. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh piss off. Okay, well, that's about all there is to this level anyway. Again, it's a, it's a, a nifty little thing, is what I'll say about it. It's a very nifty little, little house. It would be terrific if I could find the other living room in here, but oh well. Is that a... no, that's a legitimate wall. Just a not a straight prism. Uh, not really much else to say about this one. No, yeah, it's got textures, it's got lamps. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And that's what happens when you forget to add a texture. It just kind of shows the sky through. Um. Oh. That's not actually a problem in some respects. The way those pillars sit there, they're obviously too big for where they are, but here it's 
almost not something you'd notice. But then you step out here and it's just like dogs privates really. Which is a shame. I can't help but wonder what this would look like in a less modern um, uh, engine. Maybe in the original Doom engine it wouldn't have been quite so obvious. The sprites wouldn't have shown up perhaps. I don't know. Uh, let's have a quick look through. Okay, well there you are. Let's just lure you out. In fact, let's get you fighting with that with these hit scanners. Thank you. Holy crap. Ow. Ah, oh, there's meant to be a stairway here. There's no stairway! Ah, okay, well, there are two other levels here. Let's check them out. This is level two. And off memory, it's even more brutal than the other one. I think this level is just a giant boxing ring. Let's just swap to... Wow, we don't have any rockets. What's the point of giving me a rocket launcher then, game? Apparently we don't have a plasma gun either. Again, what was the point? Ow. Uh, yeah, obvious secret door is obvious. Sigh. I don't mean for this to come across really harsh, but I know it will. I'm going to say it anyway. The design of this level really reminds me of the kind of levels I would make when I was about seven years old. And I don't mean that that makes it automatically a bad level, it's just the way that things have been done around here really does just remind me, you know, you do a big block and there's your door. Like that. Oh, the door texture obviously repeats. And that was something I noticed as well in in the first level. Where you've got the, the short ceiling heights. And you've got a, a door in there. Um, you can probably find a better texture. To, oh, here we are. Secret. Oh. A better door texture to fit. Or we could die like that. Um, so we're not getting far there. Look, let's... Um... Oops. Okay, let's see how far we can get with one invulnerability. And then we'll call it. Nope, not that way. Now, these are locked off memory, yeah. Now, I have played through this... Well, I haven't played through, but I've looked through this already. This isn't a blind playthrough, in case you hadn't worked it out. Grab the ammo, grab the guns, grab the, use the other guns. Now I actually downloaded this thinking it was a different boxing dot what? Because there was one from back in my... hello? Oh really, monster stuck in a wall? That's just disappointing. One from back in my youth that was really well done. It was, a, again, a boxing ring, but um, somehow the monsters were implemented such that they stayed neutral until you, it, until you shot them. Until you inflicted pain upon them, they were just sitting there harmlessly, minding their own business. Well, we're not doing too badly now. What we needed to do was cheat. Um, yeah, I think we've seen about all that we really care about. Uh, does this go anywhere? No. Um, does that open up? No. Oh yeah, check out, check out that. That's, uh, something I discovered about Doom Retro. Um, things actually sink into a liquid. And I think that's really cool. 
My invulnerability should be running out about now. If not, you know, half an hour ago. I don't have to toggle it back off, do I? Um, we've switched. Flip that switch. So there's potential in this level. No, it's a lot of things have been really cleverly done. But then there are other things that just scream that you know the designer has a little more to learn. I'm not saying I'm an expert. Oh, there's the key, really? All the times I've looked at this one, you know, both, and there's the key. Piss off. And there's the key. Oh well. Now we know. Right, let's just kill this archfile and then we'll check out the next level. Yeah, this invulnerability has lasted way too long. Okay, so level 3. And we're also going to toggle this off. Um, is that a... Oh, really? First thing we see is a missing texture. Right, quick techno crap. Um, in the Doom Engine, you've got... You can't have things on top of each other. It's just a, a limitation. Um, so when you do something like this, um, you've got an upper area, a lower area, and a normal area. And so the bit of the lift that just came down, that wall there would be a lower texture. That wall there, because it goes nowhere, would be a normal, and that wall above where my pellets are hitting, well, kind of yeah, the top of my screen, that would be an upper. Um, and so what we're missing here looks like someone's adjusted the ceiling heights and not put in an upper texture. I can't quite tell where that might be. Whoa! Illusory wall. Oh, and of course we've managed to screw ourselves. Are we invulnerable or is it just not hurting us? Um, okay, well, let's... We got nowhere with that. So we'll head back up, we'll grab that. We'll go in this way this time. Or not. Yay! Things to kill, finally. And so far it's not a bad level design. That's an obvious secret door. And that's one of the problems you get when you don't line your textures up right. Is doors effectively travel the other direction. The door textures run from um, top to bottom rather than bottom to top. A normal one will run bottom to top. Whoa, someone has not put in a, a texture there, or that might be a sector issue. I can't tell, but yeah. Oh, and there's another glitch. Yep, that looks like when they made the level they didn't quite do something right. It's a bug I get, and whenever I get it I pretty much just scrap the level. That's why I make backups of my levels so effing regularly. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, okay, another techno bit. The rectangle I am standing on right now would be one sector. One area of the map that you adjust the properties for and it's, it applies to that whole geographical space. Um, the rectangle occupied by the door would be another sector. This bridge is one. Um, that bridge is another. And basically, what... Or the, the pit here would be another. What it looks like there to me is a sector didn't quite get properly confined by the, the boundaries that the game puts around them. And so as a result you can see three things. At their worst they're absolutely game breaking. Oh, this is probably where we have our next death. And if we can 
we'll give it one more quick look around out of the epilepsy zone if we can manage it. Alright, one last look. We'll try that other path again. And from there we'll call it. So yeah, I would... If I were marking this, and of course I do mark them, um, I would probably be giving this 4 out of 10. Damn it. Look, we'll just clip up. Um, I wouldn't mind knowing how I get in there. Oh, really? Uh, I can't help but wonder if that's a, a source port issue, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, maybe they've used it as a door texture. That would explain it. <laughs> um, I can't quite explain why that issue is an issue. Um, but it has something to do with these transparent textures working a little bit differently to the rest. And that bit up there is, again, they've not put in an upper texture. So they've adjusted the ceiling height there, but then they haven't put a something up there, you know, like a, I don't know, a, a skirting board. So, well, it's probably been more a, a whinge about what not to do in level design than anything else. We haven't really achieved anything. We haven't really killed much, and we've just died a whole lot. So I'm not expecting this to rate terribly well. Um... So I wouldn't mind seeing the, the designer of this level probably come back and, and polish it up a bit. And if he did, I'd happily give it another playthrough. Uh, given the age of the level, I think this was done many, many years ago, though I don't see that happening. So, we're just going to clip through here because I want to see what's through here. Yep, that was the door. Wow, that was... Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and, and just say that unfortunately the designer here hasn't had a great deal of experience and I don't want people just trolling the designer in the comments. I will disable comments if people get too vitriolic. Um, I hope that they've learned and I'll see if I can find a more recent example of their work. And on that note, I'm going to call it here in this dismal corner that... Oh here, I'll leave it in the lava. Which apparently won't hurt us. And we've got no rockets to end our miserable existence, so... I'm just going to sign off here until whatever I play next. Cheers.